Former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan has said he will announce the final protest call for the restoration of the constitution in the country. In a message to Pakistanis during his jail trial inside a Yala jail, where journalists were present, Mr Khan said, quote, We have outlined our strategy at the Swabi rally. Our protest will continue until the restoration of the constitution, democracy and independent judiciary and the release of our innocent workers and leaders. In the coming days, I will personally announce the date for the march with complete preparation, unquote. Mr Khan's party launched the first phase of its nationwide protest movement on Saturday in the city of Swabi. Imran Khan concluded his media interaction today echoing what party leaders said at the rally, quote, this time our people will not go back home, unquote. Imran Khan, the former Pakistani Prime Minister, has said he is willing to sacrifice everything for his country and his people. During his brief interaction inside the maximum security at Yala Jail, Mr Khan said, quote, I am ready to make every sacrifice for Pakistan's true freedom, unquote. Imran Khan has had at least two assassination attempts against him in the last two years. He is currently spending his 464th night in what's been described as a death cell, isolated for much of the day. Almost all members of his immediate family were also jailed by the current military-led government, but Mr. Khan has refused to compromise on the sovereignty of Pakistan and genuine democracy, which he describes as true freedom. Pakistan's authoritarian military government has now begun restricting VPN access inside the country. After installing an internet firewall to restrict criticism of the military, netizens were using VPNs to access social media sites like X, which have been blocked in the country. According to local regime allied media outlets, quote, the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority, PTA, has started blocking unregistered VPNs across the country, citing security concerns and a need to regulate VPN usage, unquote. To control criticism, the military has cited security concerns to muzzle the media and control the internet. The internet blockages have drawn severe criticism from human rights organizations, including Amnesty International, which recently said, quote, the opacity of the Pakistani authorities regarding the use of monitoring and surveillance technologies that block content, slow down and control internet speeds is an alarming concern. Time and again, the use of such technologies, including national firewalls, has proven to be incompatible with human rights. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, along with other Arab and Muslim leaders, has demanded that the occupational Israeli forces immediately stop its military aggression in Gaza and Lebanon at the opening of a summit of Arab and Muslim leaders in Riyadh. The international community must, quote, immediately halt the Israeli actions against our brothers in Palestine and Lebanon, unquote. The Crown Prince said, condemning Israel's campaign in Gaza as, quote unquote, genocide. 400 days have passed since the occupation Israeli forces started started their genocidal campaign in which over 40,000, mostly women and children, have been killed. Critics have said, while Arab and Muslim leaders have condemned the genocide, concrete steps have not taken place to stop the massacre. Leaders were unable to agree on actions against Israel despite calls to sever economic and diplomatic ties with the country or disrupt its oil supplies.